Hi, welcome back to Auntie Nell's Kitchen. Hello, nieces and nephews, and to my new nieces and nephews, welcome to the family. Okay, guys, finally, part three of three on finishing up this demi glaze. Yes, demi glaze takes two days to make. Two days. Yeah, two days. Well, really, the, um, really almost three because you have to um, boil the bones and the meat. For, uh, for 14, 15 hours. Yes. Yeah. Then you got to let the stuff sit over in the refrigerator for over for 24 hours. It really takes almost nearly three days to make. That's why I don't like making it. But because I love my good buddy and I love my husband very much, I used to make it for him. So, and I'm making it for her. Okay. So hold on. I'm going to do a flip and swip and we're going to get started. And then we're going to go to finally the last phase of this demi glaze. Uh, well, what the French call demi gloss. I'm a country girl. I say demi glaze. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. See, it, the fat separated, so you got to cut, take all this off. Yep, I have to take all of this off. And you see what's left up under here. Yeah, all of this has to come off. And be thrown away. Well, I throw mine away. Some people may save it. I don't know. But mine's going to trash. You look like Jello. Wiggy, 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 wiggy. All of this goes. I, I toss all of that. Now, now that I just have this, I can I don't like touching that, but I gotta touch a piece down here because it fell. I gotta get that up. Oh, gotta put some more paper towels. Okay, and I can pour my demi glaze and get it to a boil. Get all the goodness out and get it to a boil. And I'm going to bring this to a boil. See all that goodness is out now. Throw that over there. <laughs> Housekeeping. So I'm going to let this come to a, See how fast it's already um, liquefying. Okay. And I'll be back when this starts to come to a boil. See, it's come to a rigorous boil. Now, I do like to throw th like three or four bay leaves in mine at the end. So I did add my three. I just added three bay leaves. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to leave it alone. Let it cool down. Okay. Your demi glaze, it'll thicken up. It'll thicken up when it cools down. It'll thicken up more, rather. Because when you, you can feel the resistance on the, in the spoon, you can feel the resistance of it. So I'm going to let this cool down completely before I can put it in the, the uh, bowl that I'm transporting it in. So just get, give it a moment, and I'll be right back. All right, here's our end result of our demi-glaze. You can dip your meat in it or you can pour it over your meat any way you want to. You can pour it over your meat. So I'm going to put this in a container for her. And um, that's about it. So thank you guys. I, you know, I got to say goodbye face to face. Thank you for watching my video on, on my Demi Glaze. Um, now you can put the bay leaves in the beginning, but I just like to put the bay leaves in mine at, as a finishing um, herb. I, that's just the way I do it. Um, so um, to the next upload, I shall see you later. Go be you, but be great being you. I want you to have a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you are in this big world, okay? 
hugs and kisses to each of you. Love you guys. Till next time. See you later. Bye.